everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute little um, handbag. Um, I've just recently purchased this new Daisy die, which I have fallen in love with. This is the smallest of them, and then I have two other videos um, which I'm going to be doing. Um, straight after one another so um, I'm going to post this one's obviously up now and then in two days time there will be another one which will have the next size up of this bag in a different style with the larger of these um, daisy uh, dies they are brilliant I will share all the links of where I bought them because I paid I think 3 99 or 4 4 49 something like that um, from the same lady that I brought my stitched framelits from um, and again they're really good quality they cut beautifully and then this is the result you layer them up so I've just cut two um, and layered them on each one there so I've six in total and this is just a really nice very fresh clean looking bag and it's just those little daisies at the bottom that really set it off um, the bag itself is a really nice design as well. This is just with one sheet of A4 card and then I've just put a couple of Velcro dots on the top there and there's the inside and it's a really nice size to put a couple of little um, treats in. Um, nice gift card would be nice as well that fits in here nicely so and it just you can carry it. It's so lovely for little if you're doing like a little tea party for your daughter um, things like that are lovely and again I think these are nice for like a baby shower or just a, a girly party and you could put everyone's names on them and stuff so it's a really versatile lovely little bag so really straightforward to make so let's crack on so grab your scoreboard and you are going to need one sheet of uh, A4 card cut down to 11 and 3 quarters so it's the, um, the same length the width you just want to cut it down to six and three quarters so six and three quarters by eleven and three quarters you will need some ribbon of choice or whatever color whatever colors you're going to do and then I've just pre-cut again my favorite um, die of the the moment these daisy dies so I've already got all them ready um, and that's it and a hole punch if you've got one to put the the ribbon through and I've also got a corner punch just to corner off the edges there as well so I've got your scoreboard so first of all so scoring along let me just check if I've got this in the right way um was it that side I don't know yeah it was right so scoring first of all along your 11 and three quarters you're going to score at two and a quarter six and a quarter and that was it. Sorry, I've got my sh <laughs> the shadow behind me, so I'm trying. No, sorry. Then there was seven and three quarters. So I can just about make. Sorry, I can't even. Actually, I've missed the first one. So there's actually one at three quarters of an inch. Let's start again. If I stand slightly off, off the, to the edge here. So three quarters of an inch, and then two and a quarter of an inch, six and a quarter of an inch, and seven and three quarters of an inch. Okay, so that's all you're scoring along the top there. Then rotate it onto the six and three quarter inch side, and you're going to score. Let me check. I'm like feeling it here to see where I am. So one and a quarter all the way down, and then five and a quarter all the way down. Right, that's it. All scoring done. You then need to score with your ruler. So let me just grab my. So as I always say, make sure you've got a soft surface to um, to use. I've got my paper stack here because um, you will need to make sure that you can apply um, a, a strong amount of pressure. So if I hold this up here so you can see. So we're going to be scoring in these two um, thin panels here. This is your tab on the far right. And basically we just want to score down here so you create this nice fold detail. This piece here and then the little like triangle. So the easiest way to do this is what I've done is I measured the width of that um, kind of this panel, the side panel, which is one and a half. So half of one and a half is three quarters. So what you want to do is just along that line, that score line that we've done there, is just put a little notch at three quarters of an inch, just at the top there. Let's see if you can make that one out. Where am I? So just here. 
was that little notch that I've just done okay and then go down to that other score line and again just put your ruler against that so you've got it at one and a half and again you want to just notch at three quarters of an inch so it just gives you this guide here and then what you're going to do is hold your ruler against those two dots put your tool there first and then line your ruler up to that bottom dot there and you're basically just going to score all the way down and leave about what have we got there about half an inch from the air, from the bottom so don't score right down to the line just score and leave like so and then you're just gonna from the bottom of that score line that you just created go off to the bottom corner of that panel and again on the other side go down to that corner and basically that's what you want just trying to get in the light's really bad oh no you can see I think it's I can't see so that's what you want to create so you just scored from that dot down leaving about half an inch through um, quarter of an inch and then just score off and you just want to repeat that on that other panel here so that's your tab just on that panel just do the same just score and put a little notch at three quarters and again at three quarters and then score just down to there and then just score so you've got a triangle okay so now you just need to burnish all of your edges and I'll actually be able to see what I'm doing I think it's because I'm working with the white card I haven't worked with just white card for a while and it seems to really kind of the light bounces off of it so it's quite hard to see plus it's near the end of the day as well that I'm doing this one probably would have been better to have done at the beginning of the day but never mind and that's all of those ones yep yeah. and then with those um other ones that you've scored actually you will leave it for a minute you don't need them we don't need to uh, squash them yet right grab some scissors and what you're going to do is so that you've got the tab on the right hand side just cut up from this right hand side first to that first score line that first one just cut that little notch out from that um, tab that you've got down the side and then just cut up to the first score line along those score lines at the bottom like so and then with these two that are your like side tabs just slightly just shear a little bit off of each of the sides just to make it easier when we fold it all together Except, like so. and then along the top so then rotate it so you've got the tab facing towards you you're then going to cut this whole piece out up to that last score line so let me just see what I'm doing. Remind me not to do this a project with white card this late in the day. This is a great challenge. And just cut all the way along up to that last score line. Okay, and then just cut down. Make sure you're really neat on that one because that is going to be this tab here. So that is what you should have. So your tab on the far right hand side, two big tabs there because that's your little flap that goes over it, and then this is all of your base. Now we've cut that out, what you can do is just, just pinch these ones in here up to that tri top of that triangle and then you can kind of just, you don't need to go crazy but just make sure they're kind of bent slightly like so so they should both be bent inwards okay so now we just need to stir. no we don't put the hole punch in next so let me just check I think I done three quarters yeah I did so turn it over and just push that flap down because what you want to be doing is 
making sure that you don't put your I'm just trying to find my pencil is that you don't put the holes like too high because otherwise the flap wouldn't be able to go down so I do it on this inside piece instead so put the flap down and then basically you want to be just a little bit below that so just put your ruler in line with that score line there so you've got about a quarter of an inch there and then three quarters of an inch in just put a little dot and again I'll just go down here and you want to do three quarters of an inch I'm just keeping it lined up with that pencil dot that I've done there and then you just want to do three quarters so one two three in from that side you can see there I've got two pencil dots and that's where I'm going to hole punch and then again just line your ruler up with those two dots so you know it's all straight and go all the way along to the other side like so and then again from that line from you know you've got the panel the tab the panel and then you've got this square you want to make sure you're in there three quarters of the way in again and then again just line it to the fours there on that line one two three quarters of the way and again there you can see the pencil marks so they're just even so I've just got my stamping up hole punch here and I'm just going to go along and get those popped out go and then I'm also going to pop my ribbon in now because it's easier to do it whilst it's flat and also just corner punch if you want to if you don't have a corner punch don't worry I'm trying to do it so that <laughs> ah why wouldn't it do it let's do it that way ah, there we go. I knew there was a way to do it um okay so Roughly ribbon size you want you're looking at nine inches. So you just cut two pieces so that they're the same. Like so. And then you're just gonna pop one through each of the holes and then just tie them in a knot. I just tie two knots at the end of each one. Although I'll just do one for the sake of the video. And then just trim off right up to the knot and pull it back through. And then you've got one of your little handles coming together. And again, just do this on this side. Just push it through with that. So that's what you should have now is your two little handles and then I'm going to pop my decoration on. So the one with the flap is the back, so this is my front panel here and I'm just sticking these three along the bottom like so. So I've just got some of my tacky glue which keeps sealing up itself at the end. Okay. Put the one in the middle first so you can get that lined up in the centre and then you can work the other two either side. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Now we just need to stick all of our ends down. So you want to pop some double-sided tape. Oh, drop some on the floor. Pop some double-sided tape on the outside to the tabs, the little side tabs, like so. And then you want to pop on the side tab here. Again, pop it on the outside. Make sure you get really close to that inside score line. Pop another piece there. And then this front panel is going to be the last one to go down because you want that nice seam to show. So you're going to have those two stuck onto that one like so. And then this one is going to go under. So yeah, so then you need to put some sticky back plastic on sticky back plastic, <laughs> sound like uh, Blue Peter, some double sided tape um, on this one. So the one that's got the, the the front panel you leave empty. You don't need anything on that one. Like so. And then we can just stick it all together. Where did I just put my other pokey tool? Am I looking right at it? Ah, bugger. Um, okay, let me just find to see if that's sharp enough. No, I'm just using this. Right, okay. So take off the double sided tape from the two side um, panels first and get them stuck down. I wish I had my pokey tool, I don't know where it is. Okay, so just folding one of them down, put it on its side, and then you basically just want to line it up so you get a really nice finish. And again, hold that one down like so. And then that one is going to go inside, and then we'll put that one in at the end. Probably should have done that one before actually, but never mind. It will still be okay. Okay, and then just pop that one inside so you get a nice seam on the back there. Like so. Push that all down and then just take your tabs off this last one. And you're just going to have to pop in that bottom bit like that. And just line it all up nice and neat. Like so. And you can just squeeze the sides a little bit. And we just need to put some Velcro on and there is the box. I'm just going to grab my Velcro pieces. Uh, which are Sorry, I should have had all of this out and I didn't. There you go. Right, so I will use these two. So I'm just lying it down on its side and just pop them on each end. Don't go really close to the edge. Just line them up as neatly as you can. These Velcro ones are really, really good. The actual brand Velcro. Um, and they're super, super sticky. It's even hard to get this, as you can see. I'm trying to get this off. God, I'm having a right one today, ain't I? Come on. There we go, right. And then just carefully bring it down 
really push it there and then it should open like so and there it is really quick <laughs> I'll try to make it quick easy little boxes if you want to put little tags on them you can um, but like I said the box it's, it was mainly about the bag and my daisies that I've got which I absolutely love um, and there you go they are super cute lovely little um, gift bags so I hope you enjoyed this video sorry I'm a bit it's the end of the day <laughs> I think I'm just gonna give up now and go and uh, relax um, but I hope you enjoyed the video Please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.